Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I think certain things never go out of style. Acid wash jeans, Van Halen, and buying flowers for your girlfriend. Wow! Hello there, young man. <laughs> I'm uh, Miss Thorne. Are you interested in a Venus fly trap? No, it's just unusual for a small town flower shop to have a meat eating section. Oh. What do you think's the biggest thing it can devour? Wow. Does that answer your question? <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I'll take these, please. Oh, how lovely. Are they for your girlfriend? Well, um, for my almost hope to be girlfriend. Oh, I'm sure these roses will just win her heart. Flowers make a woman feel young and vibrant. And you, young man, are you looking for something for your lady friend? <laughs> I'm presently in between romances. <laughs> it's been a long intermission. Well, uh, not, then you must pass by tomorrow and meet my niece, Violet. I think she'll find you quite uh, refreshing. Well, I don't know. I haven't had much luck with blind dates. Or regular dates, for that matter. No, don't worry. Don't worry. He'll, uh, he'll be here. Trust me. Well, maybe. I don't know. That's... He'll be here. certainly do make a woman feel young. Excuse me. Uh, Miss Thorne asked me to pass by and meet her niece, Violet. So I... oh. Then allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> I am Violet Thorne. <laughs> Man, a few words. I like that in a gentleman caller. But you must at least tell me your name. Um, oh, it's Merton. Oh. That's it, Merton. Yeah. You know, Merton, I do so enjoy a stroll in the park at sundown. Perhaps you could join me this evening. I'd, I'd be honored to escort you. <laughs> And maybe after I could take you to the factory. You propose to take me to an industrial sweet shop? No, 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 no. The factory is, it's, uh, it's the local hangout. You know, there's dancing, bowling, the works. Oh, it sounds delightful. Come by at half past six. Don't be late, or I'll be cross. <laughs> <laughs> Cold eye, allow me. Cold eye gone, cold eye gone. You gross. She touched his eye. And what are with those gloves? I mean, somebody has seen Titanic way too many times. Oh, you have a warm and healing touch. <laughs> Violet, why haven't I seen you around before? Did you just move here? Or? I moved a few months ago from Pensacola, Florida. I'm visiting my aunt for sale. Oh, Florida, the sunshine state. I wouldn't know. I spent my youth indoors, reading gothic literature, Bram Stoker, Victor Hugo, and so forth. This is amazing. I named my first piranha Quasimodo after the hunchback of Notre Dame. I suspected we had a great deal in common. <laughs> That's a cool locket. No! Oh, oh. oh. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to... <laughs> it's I who should be sorry. I apologize. It's just that this locket contains water from the spring at my family's plantation. It's a precious memento from my youth. I completely understand. I carry a memento of my youth with me at all times. <clears throat> this is the noose I used on my sister's Ready Betty doll when I had her on trial for witchcraft. <laughs> Good old days. <laughs> 
Bert, you are so droll. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a lovely time, Merton. I hope we do it again. Soon. <laughs> The night is young, Violet. Oh. Dear sweet Merton, never on a first date. <laughs> I am flattered, though. <laughs> mm. oh. 